In my mind at least, it seems that every time Apple releases a new laptop, it's always followed up in the news with scare stories about overheating and CPU throttling. Personally, I'm not sure that overheating is an issue for the majority of Mac users, but if you are interested in knowing just how hot your CPU gets and whether the heat that it generates is causing it to throttle, you can install a nifty free app called Hot, which I'll link to in the description below. To install Hot, simply click this button to download the latest version, which will take you to a GitHub page where you can download the zip file. Your Mac should automatically extract the app from the zip file and all you need to do is drag it to your applications folder. Hot will run in the menu bar displaying the current temperature of your CPU. It works on both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs, although the results that it displays are slightly different. Intel Mac users, you will see both the temperature and the CPU speed limit. Anything less than 100% means that your CPU is throttling, which is most likely the result of overheating. Apple Silicon Macs will see the temperature and the current state of thermal pressure. Now, according to the internet, thermal pressure is the difference between the maximum processing capacity of the CPU and its current available capacity. So without getting too geeky about it, if the rating is nominal, everything is okay. Just to prove that it works, if I start a test in Cinebench, you can see that the temperature of my CPU starts to ratchet up immediately. You can detach the graph and it will sit on top of your other apps whilst you're working, so you can always keep an eye on how your CPU is performing. There are an abundance of thermal sensors in every Mac, and if you're really into this kind of stuff, you can view them all by clicking on View All Sensors. Finally, if you open Preferences, you have the option to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and as well as a few other options, you can choose whether you want to run the app automatically every time you start your Mac. So that is how to check the temperature of your CPU. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in learning the correct way to uninstall apps on your Mac and how to password protect individual folders. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.